Hi ladies, welcome to the stick tutorial this evening. I'm glad you're here. I have had so much fun this week getting to see all your posts and your pictures and even after doing this for almost four years, it'll be four years this fall, I'm still learning new ways to use these products and I'm so excited because it's partly because of you and the pictures you posted. So it's exciting to be there. Well tonight I'm, I've got some announcements toward the end and of course the the winner for today who will win two hair sticks. Um, I'll have that at the very end, but I am going to jump in and tell you about our sticks and I've got a lot of styles to show you. So I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the Lilla Rose hair sticks. You can see the variety that we have. They are generally a little shorter than the typical chopsticks that you're going to see and that you might be used to. So I like these, the length, they're not going to stick out of your head and Give you an alien look. They're going to be just enough to hold your hair and show the finial part that is decorative. And here's one of my favorites. Of course, I, I could say that about all of them. This is my newest favorite. Um, but you can see we've got painted glass. There's some, uh, it looks like crystal. It's, it's plastic, but they've got some natural stones. We have like holiday type ones. Oops, sorry, I'm getting off the screen. Um, copper, uh, marble, lots, some kind of whimsical one, fun ones. We've got one that looks like bright and jewelry. So no matter what your taste or style, there are hair sticks for you. And I'm also, whoops, sorry about that. I wanted to show you also some of the leathers. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple leather styles at the end, but just so you can see, even the variety of leathers we have, it's huge. And we have the braided, the braided eights kind, there are some Celtic designs, we have turquoise. And one of the neat things about the leather, they're kind of reversible. So you get a smooth, it's like a, a coach leather feel. Um, you can have the smooth leather on one side and if you turn it over, you've got the, the um, not threaded, what's the word I'm looking for? Seam, seam side for even a more casual look. So if you want maybe a dressier, sleek look, you can use that or casual. I usually use the seam side out because I like the seam but they have those in fun colors. And we have the cream and the black and then the camel are probably the more natural colors. So I'll do two of those at the end to show you also. And to go with those, we have the, the plain simple sticks, which also come in a multiple of colors. We've got the maple, the walnut, um, black, we've got the cream, the pink and the purple, the navy. Um, and they come in three sizes. Here's your long your medium, and then your short. So depending on your size, um, be real careful with the short ones because they're almost too short. I, I generally rec recommend the medium if you're gonna go with a simple stick, even for the smaller flexies, because it's a real tight fit, unless you just wanna do a half back with that. Okay, so since I've got a lot of styles, we're gonna get right to it. And I will start with one of my favorites. And again, I put my hair up, um, have it in new pins right now, and put it up wet because when you're just starting learning and you're starting out, it's very helpful to use damp or wet hair. It just gives more grip and it holds better. So my hair is a little bit damp and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start with just a simple bun and then we'll move on from there. So all you're gonna do, you're just gonna wrap that hair around Tuck in your end. You're going to go in the edge of the bun or the, that outer twist. Grab some hair from the outside here. Come down along your scalp and then come back up through this part of your bun. So it comes through. That's all there is to it. Now, I had seen these on TV and movies and stuff. I'm like, they're doing whipping their hair up in pencils and whatnot. I'm like, how do they do that? It's really that easy. You're just neat. It's very much like the technique of the U-pins. You're going to go in one direction, grab a little hair, come back down through, and then back up if you need to for the, for the buns. Um, so, simple bun. The next one I want to show you is the Celtic knot. I'd almost forgotten this one. I saw someone say, oh, I love the Celtic knot with sticks. I'm like, oh, I'll show you that one. So, same idea, and I showed, I showed it with the U-pins, the large U-pins the other night. You're going to see a lot of these same styles with sticks. That's what's so awesome about Lilla Rose is that you can do all these different styles with different hair accessories and get a totally different look with the same style. Um, or use, have one accessory 
and do eight different looks with one accessory. So very, very versatile. So here's the Celtic knot. You're gonna, this is when you use that okay sign with your hair. So you take a ponytail and you've got your okay sign. Then you're gonna take your hair, wrap it around under those three fingers, and you're gonna bring it around, grab that tail with this finger here, and pull it up through. Sometimes it can be a little tough. If you get it too tight, it makes it tough. I'm gonna grab just part of it. I don't get to have to get the whole thing. I'm gonna grab part of it with my stick, grab it, and then just kind of bring that back, bring that back down. You wanna catch some part of that bun on the end. But that gives you kind of a different look for your bun. Okay, so that's the Celtic knot. Hopefully you got to, to see that okay. All right, so two down. All right, next we're gonna do the French twist. Now we've all seen the, hopefully you've all learned the cheat, what I call the cheat French twist that we saw it on the first night. I think we've seen it every day since, where you twist with either with your thumb or your fingers, um, whichever is more comfortable for you. I'm gonna use my thumb and I'll show you. And let's see, with this one, I'm gonna show you coordinating sticks. So sometimes you can get away with one stick, um, but sometimes I like to coordinate two. So I'm gonna use these two cream colored, some of my favorites, and I'm gonna use both of those in a French twist. So I'm gonna take a pony that's kind of low, not real high, then I'm gonna wrap it around my thumb and I'm gonna twist it up to there. And I can tuck in any thing on the bottom there into that pocket, give it another little twist. And then I'm going to, see if that's smooth, go in, just grab just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Touch your scalp out here, flip it over, and come back down. I like to come in on the angle. And then with my second one, if I need more security, I'll grab hair. If I don't, I really just kind of stick it in. Like so. So I get two, where's the other stick? There. So you can have, two sticks with the same same look and see they don't stick out you don't see them when you're looking at me from the front which I think is nice you don't really want to look like an alien like that so I like them short they're the perfect length for that all right so that's the French twist now I have a guest who is going to show you the lotus bun now I have average to thin hair and I just wanted to show you how you can have come on in Natalie this is my good friend Natalie. Hi. Welcome. I just, she has just beautiful thick hair, long down to, I mean, if it was pulled all the way straight, it'd be down almost to her hips. Um, so, but lots of hair. And I don't know if you can appreciate these curls that are in there. She put it up wet this morning with a stick, which is her normal routine now, or the U pins even, and she just has these gorgeous curls. Mine doesn't do that. but. If, and she said normally your hair is very, very curly and kind of would go out here, but this keeps it tamed and smooth. It's just beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna have her turn around and demonstrate, she has to, she's taller than me, so she has to scoot down a little. Um, and she's gonna demonstrate the lotus bun. So you're going to take your pony and you are going to wrap it around however many times, however long your hair is, you will wrap it. I only get barely twice, so this is gonna look better on her than it will me. So you go around as many times as you need to. You take that top donut, whatever that part that's here on top, that last, that actually it was the first roll that you did, then you're gonna flip it up. You just roll that right up, and you can see there's like a hole there now that you've created through the donut. She's gonna put the stick through and come out the other end. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have you back up so that they can, there you go, perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. But thick hair, one one stick. She was doubtful at first, weren't you? Yep. Yeah. She when she's like, oh, I don't know if that'll work. And I'm like, just try it. So one stick holds all of her voluminous, gorgeous hair. So awesome. All right. The next one I am going to do is a half I call, half bun, half pony. This is another one I like to do with two sticks. So this time I'll do it with these two. Um, and what you're going to do, you're going to start out like you're doing a bun but you're just going to leave half of it out loose okay so you're going to get that first tight part of the roll and that's what you're going to lock into is the roll okay so start with your pony then i'm just going to pretend like i'm doing a bun twist it around okay now i'm leaving this out but i see i have that roll there so then i'm going to 
grab part of that twist, go in and come down. I'm going to take another one because I like two for this. Again, grabbing hair from the outside. And then you've got kind of like a loose, fun, casual ponytail. Okay, so loose. And you can do this with long hair, you can do it with shorter hair. Um, mine's about, like about shoulder length, but very comfortable. You won't notice they're in there. So comfortable. All right, moving on. If you have questions, let me know. My husband's were over there on the side for any questions that come up because I tend not to read when um, I'm doing one of these videos. All right, half up twist. This is a fun one. Now I'm going to use my pink stick. Um, this is, you can do pretty much any of these. So that Celtic knot, um, you can do with just a half up. If you just want to pull part of your hair, you know, you could do that, that knot like that. But I'm going to show you a twist. I'm just going to separate out, separate out that hair. And you're not going to believe how simple this is. You're going to take your, your stick, wrap the hair over it, and then you're just going to twist that stick around and then bring it back up through like, like so. And you get that roll. And you have, again, like that loose, casual, that loose, casual pony part. So hopefully that, that look all right. <laughs> Sometimes that looks better. Then I have to give it a second try. Let me try that again real quick just to be sure. Tiny bit loose. Loose, you know, I was trying not to get it too tight because it'll be really tight when I first put it in there. So there it's really tight. Um, it may be too tight. You might be have to loosen some of that up. So if you have scalp showing. Um, you can do the same style with all your hair. Okay. And this is another one. You've done this one for even with all your hair. Um, so even with really thick hair, you can do the same thing. Only I'm going to take it, wrap it. I'm going to spin that stick down and bring it straight up. To that point and then you have a little bit loose underneath but you get that kind of a pretty almost like a french roll not quite um, but a different look easy so comfortable all right how are we doing on time oh we're doing all right i could probably slow down a little bit but i won't all right half up twist full twist messy top knot this is fun all right for a messy top knot mom bun we did this with the u pins too and you're gonna this is you're gonna start with a high pony and I'll turn around because I think that's going to help. But you want to start with your ponytail up kind of high. And then you're going to do that the same thing like a, that cheek French twist. You're going to hook that hand, bring it around, and keep that hair. You're, create a loop on your, on your thumb or finger um, to take that out. So it just doesn't look great now. <laughs> like if you've got right now, this looks kind of silly. Um, but you're going to have that roll right here. And you're going to... Catch that stick in, go over here, grab some hair again, flip it over, come straight across, okay, and then you're going to take that, that loop of hair that you had and kind of mess it up, pull it out. I like to pull just a little bit out if my hair is not too long. If you've got layers, this works well, okay, and just kind of have a messy knot, but I like my pin to show, so I usually, sometimes I'll leave this hair in. But so kind of just a loose, messy top knot. And it's just a fun, fun style. It's a go to and extremely easy. And again, you can do this with U pins, sticks, flexies. Um, if you're a flexi, you'd probably have to go up from your ponytail size to do that because of the hair bulk. But another easy yeah. style. All right. Now, this one, let's see. I'll do this one with a ponytail with a stick. All right. Now this one is especially good to learn when your hair is wet to get it tighter because you do need to have a secure wrap around your hair. And if, it's, if your hair is loosely wrapped, it's, it's not gonna work as well with a stick. Um, so again, you're gonna take a pony, you're, you're start out with a ponytail, section out a little bit of, let me go this way maybe, it might be easier. Section out a little bit of hair out from directly under. If you go from the side, if you go from the side, it tends to make your ponytail crooked. And I learned that it's just better if you take it from the bottom. So you take that hair out from the bottom, and then I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay, kind of smooth that out. Okay, keep it kind of snug as you wrap it. This is why it helps to be a little bit wet. 
and I leave my loose part here instead of bringing it up again I'm gonna leave that down and then I'm gonna take my my stick and I'm gonna go into that band I'm gonna just like I did with the other other things I'm and I don't need a lot just a little bit of that hair band that's wrapped around the ponytail go out grab some hair and come back through catching the band on the other side so I'm gonna just you don't need a lot you want to go out grab some hair hold on to that band and come back through now it will it does tend to kind of rotate on you a little bit so you probably want to start with a little bit further up from where it's going to end up so if you want it straight across you might want to start with a little higher up to get it straight across I like I like everything on the angle I don't know why even my furniture um, drives my husband crazy but I like things on the angle um, I guess straight lines bother me but so ponytail with the stick it's just a fun look and you can add two sticks if you want for effect um, but one should be able to do that so even ponytails with sticks now the only I would say Lola Rose is great for everyone with every length of hair sticks are the only thing I think that you have to have some amount of hair to work with um, the other things flexies bobby pins hair bands everything else you can have very very short hair and still um, use the products but the sticks you need just a little bit more hair length to work with so now all right I want to show you some of the leathers I'm going to incorporate just a couple styles like one the French twist with the leather is really pretty I'm going to do that one with let's see I think I'll use the braided um, it's called Tudor Rose of the braided with the maple stick okay so I'm going to do a French twist same one I've been doing the cheap French twist put it on an angle and to secure the, the French twist so you're going to loop it around bring it up and I'm going to even leave the ends out a little bit and maybe even let that be messy a little bit and then I'm going to put it in an angle this one might be a little small I might have to switch this out I'm going to grab hair from one end and then I need to grab the other and I might have gotten too much too much you have to work to get it in the right position now oh, that's the bad thing I can't let's see how that okay yeah it's kind of a messier one you can get accomplished a neater one um, if you try <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I like the the messy look so that's the French twist of the braided leathers and that's all that's all it is is catching the hair come in one side and catch the hair underneath and put it through the other one I want to show you that I do a lot and I'm going to use a, another decorative stick uh, where'd it go I want to use my square one I don't see it put it down oh here it is it's just blending in sorry um, I'm going to do this one. Um, it's kind of like the half pony, half bun, bun one that I'll show you. <laughs> Diana said, Steve, turn the camera 45 degrees and oh. see if she likes everything better on the angle. Oh, <laughs> Diana's giving me a hard time about my angles. All right, so you're going to start with a, uh, like you're going to do a twist, only I'm just going to, almost like a tails up to start would be fine for this. It's a better way to describe it. I'm going to put that across then I'm going to come in grab some hair come under and find the other end and then I just kind of like lay that hair down there so I want this to show so I swing my hair to the side with where it's the finial the opposite side of the finial so hopefully you guys can see that so that was that one and let's see and the other one is just um, the messy that top knot I did with which is just a fun one let me do it with I'll do it with pink um, with these two the two um, carnation leather so this is going to be the top knot messy top knot but with the leather and the stick okay so same thing start high pony I'm going to twist it up have that loop here I'm going to leave it only this time I'm going to put the stick or the leather and go go in it that way and then I can mess that up pull it out 
I don't want to cover up the stick, but I want to get that messy, messy look. So many options. If you've seen any kind of updo, it can likely be done with U-pins or sticks, whether it's the long U-pin, the short U-pin sets. Um, that's what's so amazing about Lilla Rose. I just have fallen in love with it because of the versatility of all of the products. You can get so many styles with one product, um, and there are so many styles. If you have one particular style, but you want to use a bunch of different products, you can do that too. So it really is a versatile. Now, a couple announcements. I know you're all waiting for the winner, but before I announce the winter, the winner um, for the hair sticks, and you are getting a set of hair sticks. You will be getting these hair sticks. I'm going to send you a set. So you can wear them together or you can wear them separately for different looks. All right, but you've probably seen the post and it's gonna be pinned at the top. It is a question and answer call that Lilla Rose is putting on. They do it every once in a while for people who are interested in learning more about the company and if maybe this is an opportunity they want to look into. So the reason we did this early tonight instead of at um, nine o'clock Eastern was to make sure if you wanted, you would have the opportunity to catch that call. The link will be pinned at the top if you want to go through your computer to do it. You can, um, it's just through chat message. You, you won't be heard. There's no way you can be heard. So you can go on with your, whatever you need to do and just listen in the background or you can put in a message, uh, type in a question if you have a specific one, but they'll be covering a lot of information um, with questions you might have yourself. If you have additional questions afterwards, please talk to the stylist that invited you to this event. Um, we would love to hear from you. So do that, and there is a phone number. Um, I'll read it off now, but it will also be posted on that link. And there is a code, you just call in this code, and then or call in the number and then put in the code when it gives you um, the, the timing. So it's 415-655-0052, and the code is 876-571-595. So if you didn't catch that, it'll be listed in that link that will be pinned for an hour or so, so you'll be able to find it. We're going to remove that, and we'll repin the entry for tomorrow for the grand prize after that this evening. You will have all of like later tonight and all of tomorrow to enter into the grand prize drawing. And it's amazing, over a hundred dollars. It's an awesome um, basket that you will want to enter for. So that was that. So now the winner for tonight for the hair sticks is Tara Schuler. All right, and it's ironic that the picture that she posted was the Flexi of the Month for May. It was a beautiful, I think it was Isabella, or it was Annabelle. There were two. There was a rose gold and a silver. And the rose gold sold out. These flexies of the month are beautiful. Um, and check with your stylist to see what the May, or the, excuse me, the June flexi of the month is going to be. And again, there's always a customer special that will be released at the first of the month too. So be sure and check in that. Um, this month, if you spend $80, you get a free hairband. So you could have your ultimate Lilla Rose wardrobe have all the pieces you would want, hit that $80 and get a free hairband on top of that. So you would have a lot of Lilla Rose accessories for that. Um, but then there'll be another one next month. Check in and see what that one is. It will be awesome as well. So check with your stylist, check out the flexies of the month. They're only available during that month. Um, and then they become hostess exclusives. So be sure and check with that. So congratulations, Tara. And I will be getting the sticks to you. If you can get me and message me your address, I will get those in the mail to you. Have fun. Good luck for the grand prize drawing. And be sure and tune in for the Q&A with John. And thanks to Natalie for helping me out with all of her gorgeous hair. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, well